Hi, today we're going to talk about why you should consider changing up the order of your meals and taking your carbohydrates last. What possible difference could that make? Turns out it's a lot and it's coming right up. Most of the time when we think about eating low carbohydrate meals, for example, for diabetics, well, we think about the total number of carbohydrates. The other thing we talk about is the net carbohydrates, and that is the total minus the fiber, because the fiber generally isn't absorbed. So therefore, that is the total number of carbohydrates that your body is seeing. However, it turns out that the order in which you eat your food may make a big difference in how high your blood glucose goes as well. Not only for pre-diabetics, but for type 2 diabetics, and maybe even for type 1 diabetics. And certain studies, such as this one from 2005, have shown that if you give a sort of uh, whey powder just before, you can decrease the amount of glucose. There's a lot of also epidemiologic studies that were linking milk drinking, for example, and a lower risk of type 2 diabetes. So that seemed to make sense. In 2015, some uh, smart researchers did an early pilot study in people with type 2 diabetes. And these were people who were taking metformin and they measured the, their blood glucose eating the same exact meal but with the order of how they're eating switched up. So they took 11 patients and they gave them, on the one hand, the carbohydrates first, and that was consisting of bread and orange juice, and then they would wait 10 minutes and then they would serve them the protein and fat, which was skinless chicken breast and vegetables, a salad with a vinaigrette and steamed broccoli. And what they found was that there was a very big difference in the blood glucose, not only how high the glucose would go, but also in the blood insulin levels. In fact, the peak glucose was down a stunning 54%, and the insulin area under the curve, which is that part of the insulin that your body is seeing over time, decreased by 48%. That's a huge difference considering that the two meals were exactly the same. The only difference was were you eating the carbs first or the carbs last. And when you ate the carbs last, that seemed to make a big, big difference for these people with type 2 diabetes. That has huge implications because you might not need so much medication, for example, by making a very simple switch and eating your proteins and fats up front. This was very intriguing. And in 2018, the same group came up with this other study and they looked at people with pre-diabetes. So not only did they show this in the type two diabetics, but these were in pre-diabetics who weren't on any medications. A little bit complicated, but the main comparison group here is between the carb first and the carb last group. And again, what they found was simply stunning. What you could see is that the area under the curve of the glucose, which is the total glucose that's going to be um, attacking your body or the body is seeing, actually was down by 38%. Again, a simply huge difference comparing them because they're the same exact foods. But not only that, but you could see how fast that blood glucose goes up when you take the carbs first. It spikes up extremely high, but then it actually can drops so that it's extremely low. By 180 minutes, which is about three hours, you can see that the carb first has actually dipped quite low and one person out of the 15 actually had symptoms of hypoglycemia. They're shaking, they're a little bit sweaty, and this is even though they ate the same exact meal. When you switch the order, they were fine, but if you ate the carbs first, you got this initial surge of insulin and the surge of glucose that seemed to make a huge difference and the body 
was having to deal with all of this extra glucose and all of this extra insulin. And in this very intriguing other study, they looked at children with type 1 diabetes, and they did a similar carb-verse versus carb-last study. In this case, they're looking at two slices of brown bread with turkey and cheese. In the first group, they would have the bread first and then the turkey and cheese, and then they, they would um, switch it. Whoops. And they also did the same thing for children with type 1 diabetes. In this study, they took children aged 7 to 17 with type 1 diabetes who were stable for one year on insulin. And they looked at two slices of white, uh, sorry, of brown bread with turkey and cheese and comparing a group that would eat the turkey and cheese up front and then the bread versus eating it all together. So not quite as separated as the other group. What they found was that there was no difference in terms of how quickly that blood glucose went up, but the overall average of the glucose went down, which once again might mean a lot of things, including you need less insulin, which may lead to less weight gain overall because we know that those high glucose levels, that high insulin levels are going to drive weight gain. This actually has massive implications for the way we need to structure our meals. If eating the exact same number of calories, eating the exact same foods, but simply switching the orders means that we can face 40% less glucose. That means we might be able to prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes. We might be able to take less medications. We may be able to lose weight because again, that lower level of insulin is going to cause less weight gain. And what it means is that you really have to front load your meals so that you're taking your proteins and your fats and your vegetables right up front and then leaving the carbohydrates to the end. The best effect is if you're going to be even able to wait a few minutes. In the study, they waited 10 minutes before serving so that it's like one of those uh, restaurants where you get an appetizer and then you wait and then you have dinner. Well, in this case, front load the proteins and fats. And there's a second benefit because once you eat those proteins and fats, maybe you don't want to have those carbohydrates after all. If they gave you the bread right up front, like at a lot of restaurants, well, that might be a good thing to say, well, take it out, bring it to me with my meal, and maybe I won't eat it. So you're going to get a double benefit. If you ate the same amount of bread, you get less effect, but you might not even want the bread by that time. So that has big implications as to the way you want to structure it. The order of your food makes a big difference. That's what the most recent research is saying. So use it to your advantage. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you learned something. If you did, maybe share it with a friend and I'll see you next week.